Hey, what's up guys? It's Gage from ARG and it is V-Jump time. We have so many new support cards for the Blue Eyes archetype being released in the V-Jump out in the OCG that it's ridiculous. There's a whole bunch more to be added and we're not just looking at like the structure deck support that we had in a while ago. This is some ridiculously awesome support that we're getting. And there's a lot of it too. Now, of course, the only thing isn't there's just blue eyes in the V jump support. There's more things, but we'll go over those eventually. We'll go over the really cool stuff eventually. But today, I'm just going to talk to you guys about um, the uh, blue eyes support being released in the V jump. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cards, so we're going to go through them one by one, and we're going to just discuss uh, how good it is each each one is uh, at least in the blue eyes deck so let's go through here we have priestess with eyes of blue it's a level one light spellcaster type effect tuner monster with zero attack and zero defense you can only use the first and second effect of priestess with eyes of blue once per turn uh, when this face-up card on the field is targeted by an effect, you can send one effect monster you control to the graveyard, add up to two different blue eyes monsters from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one blue eyes monster you control, return that monster to the deck, and if you do, special summon this card from your graveyard. Okay, so this card kind of has the same uh, first effect as that of uh, Maiden with eyes of blue, where if it's targeted by an effect, it does something. Where I think Maiden of eyes of blue, it just turns itself to defense or something like that, and then you special summon a blue eyes from your deck. This one will uh, add, send a, an effect monster you control. It could include itself to the graveyard and add two different blue eyes monsters from your deck to your hand. So it's not only just the blue eyes white dragons, but it can special it can add any blue eyes monster from your deck to hand, which includes the new support over here that we'll go over shortly. So this is a pretty cool Rota type effect. It's not really a Rota in a sense, but it's a really unique kind. Uh, Stratos, if you will. I kept saying Rota, but it makes more sense to call it a Stratos since it is a monster. So being a more different way to search things is really neat if you ask me. And yeah, the fact that it can target itself and send itself to graveyard to be able to add the two to hand makes it a little bit more better because uh, sometimes I don't think I'd want to have a 0-0 zero, zero just chilling on the board. Maybe that's just me. And uh, of course, there's also the fact that if it's in the graveyard, you can target one blue eyes monster control, return it to the deck, and if you do special summon this again, so then you would be able to, to hit it with an effect again and search two more from the deck. So that's pretty awesome if you ask me how you can just keep recurring it and keep getting plus ones over and over again over time. I really like that, and I, I'm, I really like the idea of this card. Um, is it better than Maiden with blue eyes? I don't think so. I think Maiden of Blue Eyes is just probably a better card being able to special summon directly from the deck. But uh, definitely being a Stratos type effect for the deck is going to be really helpful when we're searching out all the other cards we have, which let's go into. I don't want to waste your time with just going over these one by one. Well, we're, we're going over them one by one regardless, but I don't want to go way too in-depth with them. We also have Guard with the Eyes of Blue. It's uh, another level one tuner, light spellcaster, 800 attack, 1300 defense. You can only use the second effect of it once per turn, but its first effect is one it's normal summoned you can special summon one level one light tuner monster from your hand and its second effect is you can target one effect monster you control send that to monster to the graveyard and if you do special summon one blue eyes monster from your hand i don't know how i really feel about this one uh the fact that when it's normal summoned you get to special summon of course the maiden with the priestess with eyes of blue excuse me or the maiden with eyes of blues is pretty neat uh so it's a, an additional way to get those onto the field besides normal summoning them uh and also the fact that uh you can target one, you can control any effect monster, and then send it and special summon a blue eyes from the hand. I don't know how keen I am on that. I think it's kind of neat being able to special summon the bigger dragons, of course, by sending one to the graveyard to special summon another one from hand. But I think that tagging out is kind of a little slower, and you're still kind of left with the fact that you have this guy in the field, which I guess in some cases is okay. If you do send, say for instance, the priestess with eyes of blue that you targeted with this thing, not only will you be able to uh, send this to the graveyard, I think you can, I'm actually not sure. You can probably send the other card to the graveyard, add two to hand, but also get this effect off where you get to special summon one blue as monster from hand. That's that's a lot of cool effects to kind of tag off each other with. Uh, I do think this one, I don't know how much I like this one compared to the others. Uh... We'd have to see, though. I, I think targeting effect monsters is going to be something very important as a, opposed to what we used to do was people used to play Wonder Wand or Spellbook of Power to target their monsters and then get effects off from there. So I think this is a, a, a more outside-of-the-box way to be able to target your monsters and get additional effects off that go with the archetype. So I really like this one, a level 1 tuner with some actually decent stats for a level 1. It, it, it's It's okay. And then we got another one, which is Sage Knight with Eyes of Blue. Uh, it's another level 1 tuner. You, this is kind of a trend throughout the deck to be able to bring out that Azurize Dragon. 
Uh, it's zero attack, fifteen hundred defense. You can only use the second effective at once per turn. Excuse me. Uh, one. Excuse me. It's first effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can add one light level one tuner monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. And the second effect is you can discard it, then target one effect monster you control, send that monster to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one blue eyes monster from the deck. This one, I think, is definitely a little bit better than the one above it. So the fact that when we normal summon it, we can add any one from our deck to our hand. We can tag out for the Maiden. We can tag out for the Priestess. We can tag out for this fella up here, the Guard. We can tag out for any single one of it just by normal summoning it. That's pretty awesome on its own. But also another thing is we can just discard it and send another one from the deck to the graveyard. And then we can special summon any blue eyes monster from our hand. So this card tags out literally anything in the deck. I think that's definitely a step up from the one above here where you can special summon one from your hand. I don't know if it's... It still targets an effect monster, so it still gets that synergy with Priestess, of course, and everything that we mentioned before. But it does get any blue eyes monster from deck, and I think that's significantly better. Uh, instead of going through the process of trying to get them in the hand with Priestess than being able to use Guard to special summon him. I just think this is leaps and bounds better than the other ones. Uh, Stat-wise, 1500 defense, I guess. It doesn't really matter. But the fact that it's a level 1 that you can discard from your hand and you're not required to normal summon it is pretty cool. But even if you do normal summon it, it does have... Uh, a a, a uh, Stratos effect. I was about to say Road effect again. A Stratos effect for any of the level one guys. That's really awesome if you ask me, and I think that's a step up from Guard at least. So I think this card is probably one of the better ones in the archetype next to Maiden, uh, and Priestess seems okay compared to this as well. Uh, moving on to one of the bigger dragons we have, finally the bigger stuff we have, uh, White Spirit Dragon. It's a level 8 light dragon, 2500 def uh, attack, 2000 defense. This card is also treated as a blue eyes monster, always treated, excuse me. Uh, this card is treated as a normal monster while it is in the hand or the graveyard, and when this card is normal or special summon, you can target one spell or trap card uh, your opponent controls, banish it. During either player's turn, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card, special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand so i think this card is really really awesome excuse me by the way this card's really awesome for its synergy with azur's uh azurized dragon with the fact that azurized dragon targets normal monsters in the graveyard during the standby phase so you can special summon this turn in standby phase and then get its pop off for a spell or trap and just hit it so it's essentially a slip rider in that sense and that's really powerful because as opposed to what we had before where we could just bring him back of course the 3000 beat stick in the form of blue eyes white dragon which was neat don't get me wrong but now we have a card that we can keep bringing back with an actually relevant effect and uh the fact that it's treated as a normal monster i think that is definitely a sense to be able to get the card to synergize well with azurized dragon uh you can special summon this off of maiden as a blue to get it in the graveyard and everything to get it all set up for azurized dragon and everything i just think this card is really really good for what it does uh of course this bow trap removal is at the cost of it being five 500 less attack than that of a uh, blue eyes white dragon but during either player's turn if the opponent controls a monster we can tribute it special summon a blue eyes white dragon from hand so if something were to happen to this guy we can tag it out much like that of a cosmo monster if you will tag it out for a blue eyes white dragon in her hand which is a 3000 beater uh, of course that would uh, prevent this from being removed banished or something like that we can tribute it get it in the graveyard use it for azure eyes later so this card's really powerful and it's really flexible too and i like that a lot uh i think this is one of the more powerful ones as well and uh, most of these cards are really powerful, but I think this fact that it's also tr always treated as a blue eyes card is also really relevant because I think it's uh, since it's always treated uh, as a blue eyes card, we can search it out from the deck with a uh, priestess or something like that because it is treated as a blue eyes card. So I like that a lot. I think this card was really synergistic, and I think that key thing where it being a blue eyes card really does help it out a lot. Now for the synchro monster. So at, opposed to Ur's Azurai's dragon. We had to have something that really lived up to it, and I think this does it really, really well. Uh, it's a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, light level 9 dragon type synchro monster, one tuner plus one or more non tuner Blue Eyes monsters. Neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when a card or effect activates in the graveyard, you can negate that activation. During either player's turn, you can tribute this synchro summon card, special summon one light dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck and face up defense position, except Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, but it is destroyed during the end phase of this turn this card is so so broken it just stomped on that of pendulum decks being the fact that it's the first thing where you can't special summon two or more monsters at the same time that stomps on pendulum summonings of more than two cards that so you can't just pendulum summoning four and start making these big boards you're kind of limited to two at a time 
that's really relevant as it is on its own but also we have once per turn during the other player's turn when a card effect activates in the graveyard you can negate it so any effect that would activate in the graveyard any cosmo ship effect that would activate and then banish itself you can negate it damage juggler you can negate that too so this is really flexible in the sense that it just stomps on pretty much pe pepe excuse me i was about to say uh mm but it's pepe and it also stomps on that of uh, cosmo using their big ships to be able to cycle out you can just stop it immediately for free too it does the cost a tribute or anything to negate it, you just negate it but also if something were to happen to this card much like that of uh the white spear dragon above we can tribute it remove it from the field and then be able to tag out for the blue uh, the azurized dragon excuse me because that's the only other target really for this light dragon type synchro monster uh, I guess you could do Light End Dragon. There's a few targets I'm thinking of, but I'm thinking Azurai Dragon is probably the best one to go for. So we could tag out for the Azurai Dragon, most likely during the standby phase, and then get a big dragon back, and then, of course, Azurai would go uh, get... I think it's destroyed during the end phase. Yeah, destroyed during the end phase, unfortunately, but it does still allow us to get some additional value out of the card if something were to unfortunately happen to our Spirit Dragon here. But on its own, a very, very powerful card, just with so many uh, walking floodgates effects that actually are really relevant at the time that I think it definitely has a lot of potential. And is it better than Azurai's Dragon? I would assume so. It probably, they do different things, to be fair, but I think this card just has a lot more utility than that of uh, Azurai's do. 3,000 defense is totally relevant, by the way. It's very hard to get around that much defense. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, 3,000 attacks are already hard enough to get around. This just makes it a little bit more difficult. So I like this card a lot, a lot. And I think there's one more card to go through here, which is at the very bottom here. We'll go through most of these later too, by the way. Some of them are really cool, if you ask me. But this is the last one we have here. It's Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. The only thing I can really think of is how did Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, that requires three of these Blue Eyes plus Pulmerization, get so bad compared to this thing. But I'll read it to you guys. It's actually really ridiculous. To light dragon fusion effect level 10, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, requires two blue eyes white dragons. Must be fusion summoned or special summoned by sending the above cards from your monster zone to the graveyard, which you do not need polymerization, so you contact fuse them, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. One, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Two, it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. And three, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by battle at the end of the damage step, banish that opponent's monster this card is really powerful it's like a cyber twin dragon and the fact that it can attack twice but it's 3,000 attack each time coming in hot that's a lot of damage also it can't be destroyed by battle and that really goes uh in hand in hand with its third effect where since it can't be destroyed by battle if you attack into anything bigger than it or anything that also can't be destroyed by battle it'll banish it during the end of the damage step this thing will stay on the board and you'll remove that threat from the board which is really really powerful banishing is also a really big deal too because it would uh, of course mitigate any effects that would activate in the graveyard so you just ignore that and the fact that this can be contact fused just makes it so much better like leaps and bounds better than we were talking about before of course it goes with any blue eyes white dragon card but i think the only blue eyes white dragon card that we can use is the blue eyes white dragon normal card a little bit strange if you ask me but uh, of course in the blue eyes deck it's not very difficult to get two out at a time uh, with uh cards like azure dragon as well as made it with eyes of blue it doesn't seem that hard or even just to get them from hand uh to hand i think it requires actually on the field yeah, it's on the field, you don't need polymerization, but if you get them on the field, it's not really hard to bring this thing out. And it's a really good card, too, on its standalone. Definitely better than just having two regular blue eyes uh, on the field, I think, if you ask me. So, being a lot better than Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is kind of unfair, but it is what it is, and I think it's a really, really powerful card, too, and also that artwork looks fantastic. As you can see, it's a new rarity, too. Uh, I think it's called the Kaiba Corp rarity or something like that. It actually looks pretty dope. I would love to see this rarity in the TCG. I think it's something that looks really cool. Definitely better than Battle, Battle Pack Starfoils or Black Rare cards. Those are lame, but it is what it is. I, what did you guys think of all this Blue Eyes support? It's a lot to take in, really, and I, I wish other decks like uh, all the legacy support like we wish we got it for dark magician i wish we got it for uh we actually did get it for red eyes but it's not nearly near the level of this stuff this stuff is absolutely bonkers but i want to hear what you guys think of all this blue eyes support do you guys think it'll actually be able to do anything if it comes over here in the tcg whenever that may be or do you guys think it's just kind of a little more unique stuff to add to a really fun deck already so i want to hear what you guys think of the blue eyes deck uh i think it's really cool 
it's cool to see all this really nice support coming out for it, stuff that actually does things. And the artwork looks really fantastic, too. I really love the theme of the whole archetype being, uh, of course, revolving around Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I want to hear what you guys think. Sorry for the little long video. There was a lot to get through. Uh, more than one card to review, so... It is what it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like it. Thumbs up, however much you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to see us in ARG Anaheim this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And if you can't join us at the event, of course, we're always live streaming. So if you guys want to check out the live stream, it's going to be a pretty awesome event. I believe there's projecting a lot of people to be there since it is a California event. Those are normally pretty massive. So it's going to be one of the biggest ARGs we've had, at least I hope, I would assume. So it would be something to definitely want to tune into to see all the players kind of duke it out. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, thumbs up, have an express you enjoyed the video. And if you want to buy or sell product, if you want to attend high level events, and if you want to read articles from these top, top players, alteratagames.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Gage from ARG, signing out.